this key concept video looks at grouped data tables and mid interval values. Now these are quite common IB Math Studies exam questions, so it's important to understand um, the structure of the table, what it means, and how to calculate the mid interval values, and then what that means for calculating averages. That's what we use mid interval values for. And I'm going to describe these concepts using this basic summary table here. And let's say we have a certain number of people in a shop. In this case, it will be 17 people. And if you're wondering how I got that number, it's the addition of the um, counting the people in certain age brackets. So in this shop, we have people between the ages of 21 and 50. And the person doing this survey has had decided to present a grouped data table, which means they have got groupings on this left column, and these are often called classes. So we've grouped them by age brackets between 21 and 30, 31 and 40, and 41 and 50. And then the second column here is our frequency column. So there were four people between the ages of 21 and 30, seven people between the ages of 31 and 40, and six people between the ages of 41 and 50. And therefore, there are 17 people in total. Okay, so that's basically the structure of a group data table. And now I want to talk about the mid interval value. So I'm going to create a new column here called mid interval MI value. Now the mid interval is the midpoint in our class. And the reason that we do this is to estimate the average age. So let's say we wanted to calculate the average age of these 17 people. It's going to be quite hard to do. We're thinking, well, there's seven. The most people are between the ages of 31 and 40. So you'd expect the average to be roughly the 35 mark. But what happens if all seven people were 31 exactly? And all four people were 30 exactly? The average then is going to be pretty close to 30. So with a group data table, we don't actually know where do these seven people lie? We're in the spread of 31 to 40. So we meet, we need to make an estimate using the mid interval value. Now I'll show you the calculation, how to find the mid interval value of this first class here. We go 21 plus, excuse me, 21 plus 30 divided by two. So that's the lower limit plus the higher limit divided by two. Now 21 plus 30 is 51 divided by two that will be 25.5. So that is my mid interval value for the first class. Um, you could do the same process for the second two. However, they're going to come out to be 35.5. And then they're also the next one's going to be 45.5. Now you might be wondering, well, what's the benefit of that? What are we actually doing this for? Well, if I was to ask to estimate the average age of people in the shop, average age, now this is an estimate, if we wanted to find the exact one, we'd have to actually um, detail the age of every individual seven uh, people out of the 17. However, this is an estimate. We will multiply the mid interval value, so 25.5, multiplied by the frequency in that particular class, in this case four, plus the next one, 35, uh, that's 35.5, multiplied by the frequency, seven, plus 45.5 multiplied by the frequency, which is six. And then we simply divide it by the number of people in the shop, just like every time we do an average. We add up all the ages and divide it by the number of people in the shop to find the average. This is the exact same process. Excuse me. So then divide by 17. Okay, so that gives an, uh, a brief overview of how a group data table is set up, what the mid interval value means, and then what we use the mid interval value for, which is to find the average of whatever we're talking about. In this case here, we're looking at ages. It could be temperatures, it could be heights, it could be a whole range of different things. Okay, that's that. I hope you enjoyed that. I recommend going across to the question bank section and practicing some of these questions.